Again in the nation's capital, where the Nigeria Labour Congress has continued its protest over the prolonged strike by university workers and closure of the nation's public universities. The mega rally in Abuja is coming a day after NLC holds nationwide protests to draw the attention of government to the lingering national strike and its effect on Nigerian students. NLC dismissed insinuations the gathering was to discredit the ruling government to Labour Party's advantage but claimed that the aim was to support the protracted strike embarked upon by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, which has now lasted for more than five months. TVC News correspondent Akadisa reports. After Tuesday's rally across the states, the Nigeria Labour Congress on Wednesday led the four unions and the universities to register their displeasure over the over five month old strike. Security presence was visible following intelligence reports of a likely infiltration of the protest by some undesirable elements. From the Unity Fountain through the streets of Abuja to the Federal Secretariat and finally to the National Assembly, the message was clear. Rally has shown that Nigerian people now realize what is happening. Nigerian worker, Nigerian parents, even Nigerian students have realized what's happening. We've signed agreements, and in that agreement, there is a portion where it says that after every three years, we must renegotiate. If you say OSAS is not good enough, how about U2PS? If you say U2PS is not good enough, how about if they match them and they become one? We have insecurity, gender-based violence that is going on, nobody is saying something. If you cannot govern, resign! At the National Assembly, the leadership of the parliament formally received a letter from the NLC detailing its demands. We have a documented complaint that have captured all the issues we have stated and what we expect of the parliament. If before now they have not looked at the issue as a serious issue, we want the parliament, the parliament of the Nigerian people, to take this issue very seriously. No civilized country in the world where students in the university will be away from classroom for five months, not to talk of eight months, not to talk of months more. So we are with you. Ayub Bawaba describes as baseless reports that the protest was politically motivated. Is it a serious issue? Does it call for action? Have NLC not mediated behind the scene? Have NLC not tried to resolve the issue? That is the issue. So basically it's about diverting our attention. Nigerian workers cannot be divided. They, the attention cannot be diverted. All the university-based unions led by the Nigeria Labour Congress have spoken in one voice. The expectation arising from this mega rally is that the federal government will ensure the reopening of the public universities by meeting the demands of the striking university workers. And in the event that this fails, NLC says a nationwide strike becomes inevitable. Jokai Adisa, TVC News, Abuja. In the meantime, the Senate Minority Caucus has issued a six-week ultimatum to President Mohamed Buhari to tackle the security challenges facing the country. The lawmakers have threatened to begin impeachment proceedings against the president if he fails to address insecurity within the period. The minority senators also staged a walkout at today's plenary over a failed attempt to impeach the president on the state of the nation, particularly on the issue of insecurity. This development comes as one of the recent concerns and threat to security in major parts of the country. In Ondo State, the commander, Western Security Network Agency, codenamed Tamotekunko, Ade Tundi Adeleye, has again stressed the need for owners of public places to install CCTV cameras as directed by the state government. Mr. Adeleye spoke at the training and resumption of camp of the 400 men and officers of the Corps held at the Government Technical College in Awo. Hi, Ade Jimoradio. What's that? This fresh recruitment into the Ondo State Security Agency, codenamed Amotekun Corps, is aimed at boosting security in the state. 400 men and officers scaled the orders after a rigorous screening and selection process for candidates from the 18 local government areas of the state. 
after undergoing necessary medical tests, they were addressed by the state commander of the corps, Adetoji Adeleye. The Motelco commander urged them to uplift the agency and show greater commitment towards ending crimes in the state. Mr. Adeleye said the command will not tolerate any act of indiscipline that will tarnish the image of the corps. A Motelco job is not a job for ordinary job seekers. It is for those that have passion. If your purpose of coming to join a hotel is to make money, you are in the wrong place. And the door is open for you before we boot you out. The local commander also appealed to owners of public places, including churches and mosques, to install CCTV cameras in their premises. According to him, the CCTV in the environment must be functional in order to assist security agencies to track criminals. At the moment, you have CCTV installed all over public places. You see, the consciousness, even to criminals, that they will be noticed, identified, seen, would deter a lot of them. And to those of them that are deterrent, we can assure you that with all these devices, we'll get good hold of them. So I want to appeal to members of the public that despite the harsh economic situation, they should strive to adhere strictly to the deadline as given by the government, that all public places must have CCTV installed. And this CCTV must be functional. The 400 new recruits are expected to undergo one month training before they'll be deployed for the task ahead. I did you right your TVC News. Power. Staying in Ondo, where officials of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency have arrested a 25 year old man, Destiny Agbajo, with two guns and cartridges along Oreo Kitipupa Road. The state commandant of the NDLEA, Kayaji Raji, who are parading the suspect in Akure, said the suspect was arrested during a stop and search operation. Zaraji said the suspect was arrested with one AK-47, one pump action, 91 bullets of 5.56 millimeters, 16 cartridges, and a cash of 347,000 naira. The commandant said his command had concluded its preliminary investigation and would hand over the suspect to the Nigerian police for further action. But the suspect told newsmen he got the bag containing the ammunition inside the bush in one village in Bayelsa. Um, he was arrested with AK-47. He was arrested with this AK-47. And um, the bridge number we discovered had been tampered with. But in the magazine, the magazine has color. Inscription that looks like the Nigeria Police Force. He was arrested with a two, I mean three magazines. He was also arrested with AK, I mean with a pump action, and some uh, quantities of ammunition. So them in Bayasa says the place where I'm working, the the bush, I see him for bush. I looked the lilom back with them they wrap them i saw this thing after i walked the timber finish i carry them to go my village 